Hello everyone, my name is Drumat and uh, today we're going to do Tulia Jungle, a Tulia Jungle guide, but before we start this video officially, I want to say that I've played uh, a, lot, a lot of ranked games as mid and also I found out that Everfrost and Ludens aren't that fun and today I'm going to show you what I generally play with now, which is Lyandris. Uh, I've also seen a post on Reddit on Tulia mains that says that this item looked cool and does the job, so I picked it up and I'm starting, I started to play with Landris on mid and uh, I want you to try it. Now if you like the movement speed of Ludens that's fine but it's gonna get nerfed on next patch to 50% to half the movement speed and I believe Landris will be the best in slot item and yeah that would be an option to play with. And after Lyandris, I, I'm not sure what we'll go for, probably something like Cosmic Drive. So the build is now Lyandris, Sork Shoes, Cosmic Drive or Lyandris, Sork Shoes, a defensive item. Uh, we're going to see. Um, I'm playing in Flex because Tulia Jungle is in a quite bad spot and uh, I'm gonna try to do my best here. I'm gonna speak about the runes, I'm gonna speak about the build a little more and I'm gonna try to clear this. And why am I getting this out? Out of the Morgana W. Alright. Thank you guys, thank you, I really appreciate it. Alright, so I'm starting blue, I'm kiting as you can see here, I'm gonna get this. I put a word in the reverse so we see the Amumu if he tries something. We're against Amumu Malphite by the way and also Malphite Yasuo combo. So that's already a pretty, pretty annoying and difficult start. We're gonna use another potion. I'm not using still, I'm not using still E here because I want to use it on right and I'm not using Smite either. Okay, so we take this, we go to right, we do a full clear. I'm playing with Dark Harvest, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Relentless Hunter, Nimbus Clock, Water Walking, and these rune stats. And I'm gonna explain to you right now why is this choice. I'm gonna smite it here. I'm uh, picking Dark Harvest because uh, on jungle you're probably gonna fight a lot more than on mid, and I think on mid it's good as well. I am um, going for Relentless Hunter instead of Ravenous. What? Jesus. Because um, I believe it got too nerfed. The heal is uh, a bit too bad and I'd like to test the movement speed. And I believe Re uh, Ravenous Hunter is in a quite eh spot after so many nerfs. I don't really feel the self heal that much. For secondary I don't play with presence of mind uh, because I'm not laning right now. And because when you're, you're not laning you're basically, uh, you're basically gonna have uh, something like... Uh, Something like a useless rune, and if you play with Nimbus Cloak and Water Walking, you're gonna get much more of that. Now I'm seeing here a Mumu is probably going for that, and I am going to the river uh, to meet him. But I want to meet the gang here because it's likely gonna happen, and then I'm going bot side. I'm just gonna recall here because uh, we know that Amumu is here, and we can start taking parts of this. Uh, I want to go for boots, but after after I get this and the vision word. And so I'm going towards uh, that side of the map. Now, for items, as I said, I'm going for something like Lyandris into Sork Shoes, into Cosmic Drive, or Banshee Zonia's one of those two, if I feel they are uh, too annoying, such as uh, too much AD or EP damage, and Oblivion, or maybe if we are against lots of heals. Now, whenever you're jungling, <laughs> try to kite as best as you can, and uh, try to get these scuttles at least one. If you know the enemy jungler is on the other side of the map, I'm gonna put a word here. I also can set up a gank on mid or on bot. On mid, not so much. Oh, okay, okay, we can set up on mid. We can maybe get a kill here. Because we also have. Uh, we also have. Okay. gonna try to play it slow so that uh, we get the Yasuo here okay and we also dodged the Amumu there I just wanted to take my time to be sure we're doing fine Amumu should have flashed for me there honestly uh, and so that would be stupid but then you can you can see how strong uh, and how hard it is to do stuff on this champion early on also probably I'm gonna run into mana issues but I think we can do a gank top right now. And yeah, this is a free kill because Malphite doesn't have level 6. And we could definitely generate here. I'm gonna put this vision word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Just don't die, man. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, you entered. Okay, he flashed, and I guess that's uh, how we do it. I would have pushed this more. I need to push this actually, because. Oh, he has teleport. Okay, but still a bad positioning for the Twisted Fate. Very bad positioning. I need to help him because he just waste uh, he just waste your teleport. I'm trying to push it for you, Jesus. He's he's not understanding like, wave. You do know you would have wasted to go right if I didn't push. All right. I don't like to teach people this stuff, but I guess they they got Drake. And we can get another vision ward, we can also move for the red trinket now. And I'm going for this zone, gonna get blue, gonna get wolves. And we are 2-0 right now, we are pretty decent. But I really thought, uh, because Malphite died here, I really thought he... Uh, I really thought he doesn't have flash, apparently he had. The damage is quite underwhelming though, and that sucks. And we're gonna go for this first. And you're probably going to run into lots of mana issues if you don't get blue, especially so. If you're trying to play to the jungle, keep in mind that without blue, you might have problems. And until you get home, you're going to struggle. I'm not really kite this anyway. And it also helps bot. But until I get something like Lyandris, uh, it takes a while for me to be useful. That I'm gonna recall somewhere like here. This is two levels ahead, but Twisted Fate has ult. And we also get the shot. I would have passed the kill. I would have. But then again, Twisted Fate doesn't really have any damage. <laughs> I'm gonna cast a smite here. I'm gonna probably do another gank on top. Because of the easy setup, whenever you're jungling, you have to find these easy setups. As you can see, I'm doing lots of ganks for uh, my team, and I'm always taking objectives, so that's the main difference. And obviously, I'm almost just having an easy time to solo this. I'm gonna try to get this cast smite here. Okay, I have the upgraded smite now, so. 300 more gold for Landis. Okay. I don't have anything. Kills might turn out useless. Okay. Can't really help me it because I'm low HP and yeah, I'm almost sure uh, Ezreal should have thought that I was nearby, especially when I'm on the other side of the map. So I'm gonna get this and then I'm gonna move towards the Drake. And we have 30 seconds and I'm gonna get the scuttle. I don't have smite, but uh, I have uh, the idea that until we finish the Drake, we're gonna get it. We're gonna have the smite up right. So I'm at the same level as a Momur. It's funny enough that he Oh my god! I hate this. That's that's uh. Okay. Um, I don't have smite. So supposedly that that worked for us in a way. Uh, they got the Drake, and this Drake is not that important. Okay. Now 
Nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. That went well. We, we won this. I'm not sure how it's bought this, especially since we passed two kills to the gym, but. Tenacity or what was that? Why, why was it so slow? <laughs> Short, she definitely has some form of tenacity. Or I'm not sure what the Mumu's passive does, if I recall correctly. Something lower, the magic resist. I do have a lot of kills, which does help. And now we gotta just gank here, because I'm, I'm surprised with how much they actually. Well, wow, 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 that, that uh, ultimate, I'm surprised so much they, uh, they have uh, awareness issues, okay, and here is a free killer, uh, look, look, he should know that I'm here, right? I can't deal damage to that, though. as I went too aggressive, that's why. Go 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 man go Okay uh because of the yellow you notice these kind of mistakes and they should have backed off much faster and we get this this time also I am thinking that I'm gonna get here the Amomu before he has time to do anything. Yep, yep. Come here, come here, come here. Just wait, just wait. And when we'll come exactly here and... And now we have a free Drake, exactly. That's how, that's how we have to play if you want to do anything. And there is going to be a Lock Salt. Which I'm not sure if I'm qualified for. But I could ult on top of her and try to gut her down. Let's just see this trinket. Okay, there is the word. all just because I'm scared here because I didn't know where Lux went and that was a bit bad that was a bad ult I thought he was closer <laughs> in flash range now I could flash out this I don't think I need I don't think I have time to get this yeah I was sure wow well that's Two for one. More what? Oh my god, tank meta is annoying. I almost didn't even have to hold me. And the problem is that uh, the guy is <laughs> pretty much useless on top. I knew I knew he'd have been useless in small fight and Amumu. Because come on, this is fate top. But yeah, that's how we play this, and we're gonna still try to win, we haven't lost yet, and I don't think necessarily I could have played this better, unless I would have camped tall, or mid maybe, but... Uh... What? What are they doing on mid, man? Okay. I'm probably... I was probably seeing when coming here. I'm ahead in levels, but it's funny that doesn't really matter. 
the trap and I'm going to get golems then uh, then bot side you should go there and help we don't have any words here They could have taken that one for free. Oh, did they start it? That's nice and all, but hey, hey, hey. have used smite on that to try to kill I don't deal damage to him but even if I jumped in I don't think I would have stole it and now we got the senior on the hold okay why is Israel back in golf man this is just jump why aren't you jumping on me Ah, okay, he's three levels behind, I get him now. Yeah, never mind. I could have gone Demonic Embrace, but I wouldn't still kill these people. And this is a free kill. Malfoy should have halted. Okay, that's good. Also, it is engaged. Good. Okay. Where is Zamomo? They played that horrendous. We're winning not because we are very good or something, but because they are very bad. And it's funny enough, if Amomo jumps in us right now, he would actually kill us. He would kill us all. Man. Back off. We all died to the Amomo. Look! There's a thousand HP shield. Maybe dodge the nice odd but nice. Go on, straight for it. Even though I got pen from Landry's, pen from this uh, item, pen from white stuff. have some sort of a chance if they keep hinting like that but I don't want you guys to have to rely on enemy mistakes when you're overfed because this is how things are you're going to be 20 kills ahead and still not going to be able to 1 versus 9 but if you were 20 kills ahead on a Hecarim in any given games or an a Kha'Zix or an a Rengar or even on a Fiddlesticks maybe because AoE damage, but AP, AP junglers are in a pretty bad state. Yeah, Kartus would be the option that that would carry 1 versus 9, but most of other stuff, no. Just, okay. It's level 16 now and 70 CS ahead. Just because he's playing a moon. Tanks shouldn't be able to farm us. <laughs> we're dead. We're so dead. <laughs> I knew I knew there was a multi somewhere, but man. We can't do anything regardless. They have this kind of tanks, this kind of engage. So this is the state guys of Tilia Jungle sadly and I don't think I'm gonna make more videos until they think to fix this and they'll probably fix this next patch. They said they want to adjust Pantheon and Talia or sort of sorts, but <laughs> what I'm thinking is that they, they're gonna somehow keep nerf her, <laughs> keep nerfing her. And I'm thinking here, if I had 70 CS more, I would have had likely one more item. That wouldn't mean still that I would have been able to carry this. One more item in this context would just mean 
well, I'm gonna deal a bit more damage. But we don't have front line, we don't have anything. So people that play tanks in this patch are very hard to deal with, regardless. And also in solo queue, you don't see Momo in Grandmaster because I perma ban it and I also perma ban other champions. But yeah, conclusion would be to try that build, play jungle if that's what you main. But for time, the time being. I think it would just drag you down going for Tilia jungle to be honest and this game was a good example of it. I could have perhaps carried somehow if one or two of my teammates played some tanks let's say. Let's say I had them all kite top maybe we had the chance in that case and not uh, not a champion that doesn't deal any damage. Uh, I'm curious into the damage graphic on how did I fare. I'm curious I dealt obviously I was first at damage by a large margin in the game. But the funny thing, I dealt double the amount of Amumu damage, but that's not something that you notice because past mid game when Sunfire becomes a thing, it doesn't matter. Amumu will deal uh, probably more than you in team fights because of that Sunfire. I dealt double the damage of Amumu. If you look on OPGD, you're going to see that. So that's the game, guys. Uh, I'm gonna do more tutorials. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a Pantheon guide. I'm gonna do more mid games, probably a top top commentary with Tulia or montage or something. Because I like to play her on top against tanks. And whew, I guess that's it for now. See you next time and I'll probably do more videos. Expect hopefully more videos from you guys. See you next time and have a nice day wherever you are. Bye bye guys. Goodbye.